<laughs> hey, I am Gokui, and the show starts now. This is Absolute Cinema! After the defeat of Android Perfect Cell Max, Gohan managed to achieve extraordinary powers where many wondered if he had surpassed Goku's powers. Gohan Beast Mode 2 impresses everyone by showing his true form. Gohan's Beast Mode embodies the Supreme God and humiliates Goku and Beerus in front of everyone. Speak up my partner, alright? So whack that like button, subscribe here on the channel so you don't miss any video related to our universe of Z Warriors. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Universe 7, Planet Earth, Goku's House Goku and Vegeta found themselves in another training session alongside Beerus and Whis. While Earth was in charge of being brought to peace by Gohan's side, Piccolo and the other Z Warriors. Goku and Vegeta were with their powers much higher but they didn't expect Gohan to be showing more skills and more powers than in the past. Many things ended up being developed within the whole story. Gohan has a dream. Gohan kept training to show all his power because even his final transformation to me was not the limit of his strength. At that moment, Gohan believed that he could get stronger and stronger until the moment he starts to hear a voice whispering in his ear. That voice says, Gohan, it's time for us to start acting. They will still be able to take everything from you. You are more powerful than all of this. The time has come for you to show your true power. Come on, Gohan. Show now everything you are capable of. Come on. Show the true power of a god. The power of the one who is above everything and everyone, Gohan. The Saiyan hybrid child. Gohan starts to wonder, who is talking? Who are you anyway? The voice answers, I am you, your greatest power that is sleeping inside you. Gohan wakes up. Gohan starts talking to Videl. Videl says, after you showed incredible powers against the new cell, you were a little different. Gohan responds, I think I'm still learning to control all these powers of mine. Unlike before, I only fought to want to bring justice. But now it seems like as a Saiyan, I fight so that I can get stronger just for the pleasure of fighting. Am I really getting the way my father is? And is my Saiyan hybrid side talking much louder than the others? It seems to be a little crazy when I think that for most of my life I was trained by Mr. Piccolo and my mother just wanted me to stay calm, studying and now it seems I can't wait for moments of struggle. I want to get stronger and stronger. Piccolo arrives at Gohan's house and calls him to train. Piccolo says, Come on Gohan, the time has come. Piccolo and Gohan every day did a series of trainings so that Gohan wouldn't get rusty. After they defeated Perfect Cell Max, Gohan said, Mr. Piccolo, we have to train more and more. After all, we don't know to what extent new threats can show. So you already know, let's really show our true powers. Gohan begins to raise even more heavenly power. After training, Piccolo begins to notice an extreme difference in Gohan's energy. He appeared to be Divine Ki. Meanwhile, directly on planet Beerus, while Goku, Vegeta and Beerus were carrying out their training, everyone stopped training and began to observe a huge difference in power that was happening on Earth. We starts laughing and says, Mr. Beerus, looks like we'll have a visitor here soon. Beerus responds, I'm already realizing that we will have a very interesting news. Apparently, the games will start. Goku and Vegeta didn't quite understand what was happening. Back to planet Earth. Gohan says, 
Mr. Piccolo, I think it's time we asked whether the training we're doing is greater than the training of the gods. I once fought my father only when he had my ultimate form and was defeated, but now I'm sure I could defeat him. Gohan asks Piccolo to help him communicate directly with Whis so that they can get to the planet Beerus. Beerus at first does not accept and says, How do these mortals think they can enter my planet? My planet is a sacred planet that only powerful gods and beings can enter with my permission. Whis watches and speaks, Mr. Beerus, don't be so rude. Don't be so angry about it. Let them in. They don't mean to harm anyone. They just want to test a little of their powers. Goku and Vegeta are here. It will be interesting. Beerus responds angrily. Let it be then, Whis. Whis teleports Gohan and Piccolo to the planet Beerus. Goku watches and speaks. Gohan, for a long time. It's been a long time since I saw you. But I heard that you managed to protect Earth and soon after defeated Cell himself. Does that mean Cell came back stronger? You must have gotten a lot more powerful. Gohan watches and speaks. Yes, Daddy, for sure I got stronger and maybe even stronger than you. Vegeta smiles and says, What arrogance! Does that mean that you are so sure of your power? Well, come fight me. Piccolo interrupts Vegeta and speaks. With you soon I will fight. It seems that Gohan wants a rematch with his father as he has shown great powers and great developments in the past. So let's analyze all this that will happen. Gohan sure has a lot more powers to show and I'm sure his development in battle has increased a lot more. Believe! This Gohan is not the same Gohan as before. He is a totally different being. At that moment, Goku and Gohan prepare to fight. Gohan says, Father, it won't be as easy for you to defeat me as before. Let's start. Gohan activates his Super Saiyan form and Goku also activates the same transformation. The two start to fight and have an amazing fight until the moment that Goku says, Won't you show all your might at once like you did last time? Gohan smiles and replies, Why would I show all my power if I don't need to use it right now? If you don't show more than that, I guarantee you won't be able to beat me, Dad. At that moment, Goku activates the Super Saiyan 2 and gets a little angry. As Gohan continues to utilize his Super Saiyan form, Goku notes that Gohan has managed to get much stronger than before because he hasn't even used his ultimate form. Gohan smiles and activates his ultimate form, starting to take a huge advantage over Goku. However, Goku directly activates Super Saiyan Blue combined with Kaioken augmented 100 times. The battle starts to get tougher. Bira starts to get interested and says, It seems that Son Goku's son is much stronger than before. This fight is getting really interesting. The battle starts to get more and more intriguing. We can see that Gohan is smiling. Gohan speaks. Come on, Dad. Do you think I'm not worthy of you to use your Ultra Instinct? Goku starts to smile and says. If this is what you want now, you will know the true strength of the being that is acclaimed the mortal who can perform the technique that the gods have the most difficulties with. At that moment, Goku activates the Ultra Instinct. Gohan starts to smile and says, Very interesting your transformation, but now you will know the true power of Hybrid Saiyan Essence. Gohan activates his final form. Beerus and everyone else starts to become surprised. Silver hair, red eyes, it reminds me of a person from the past. Is this boy? Is it not possible? If this really is real and he unleashes all his strength, Lord Goku won't stand a chance. Furious Vegeta says, This boy in the past had already shown incredible powers. He saved the Earth in a situation where we were in no position to defeat the enemy. 
he was extremely powerful. And now from what I'm seeing, this boy really still managed to get stronger. Piccolo says, he didn't stop training for a moment, so now he can do amazing things. Goku started to fight with his Ultra Instinct, while Gohan showed great mastery with his Beast Mode. The battle started to get more and more intriguing until the moment when Goku started to have a little advantage because Gohan started to feel a little pain in his head. Goku says, Come on Gohan, what's going on with you? Show your power soon, is that all? Gohan starts to hear the voice in his head again. The voice says, You are superior to all of this. You are superior to all these beings. Come on, show what you are really capable of. Gohan's power starts to explode more and more. His hair grows out of his shirt and rips. Gohan begins to have the pupil of his eye completely whitish and red streaks on his body. Gohan teleports behind Goku and hangs him saying, Look dad, I think now that I am going to put you to sleep. Vegeta is impressed and speaks. What kind of transformation is this? Piccolo is also surprised and says, I confess that I had not seen this transformation. I don't know what's going on with Gohan. Beerus asks, What is this? Come on, explain Whis. Whis starts to smile and speaks. It seems that Son Goku's son has the power of the Saiyan Supreme God, that God that surpasses even Yamoshi's strength. It seems that not only Lord Goku, but all of us are in a sticky situation right now. Gohan looks at Goku and says, Well, I don't know what to do. If I must defeat all of you here now, I believe that first I will defeat you father and the next will be Mr. Beerus. Then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with this whole universe. Goku watches and speaks. Gohan, what are you talking about? This cannot happen. Everyone was impressed with the transformation that Gohan showed against Goku. Some believed it to be the Beast Mode 2 transformation, but at another point, we seemed to look at things in a very different way. Vegeta says, What is Kakarot thinking? Will he be defeated by his son? Has this boy really managed to surpass the powers of Ultra Instinct? What's happening? Not even Piccolo knew of these powers. At that moment, many things began to unfold in a totally different way. Gohan had received extremely high powers after hearing a whisper in his head, causing him to increase his powers even more. Gohan is developing the most powerful energy. Gohan hangs Goku and says, Dad, looks like I'm over you this time, but now I will rebuild everything. I don't know what is happening to me, but I feel that with this power, I can rule the universe. Goku watched and spoke. Gohan, what's going on? Let's end this fight. What is this story about wanting to organize the universe? You are showing a new look and a new personality. What is really happening to you? At that moment, Beerus begins to observe and says, This kid is fighting really well. But apparently, after he activated this new transformation, his personality started to change completely. What is he doing? Whis is watching. Beerus says, Whis, you know what's going on, don't you? Speak soon. What is happening to this boy's body? Whis laughs and says, Without a doubt, white hair, red eyes, whitish pupils, muscle mass greater than a normal human being, and red streaks on the body. It is certainly from the eighth supreme god. At that moment, Beerus says, What? This can only be madness. I thought the legend of this one wasn't false, and you're saying that the eighth supreme god is in this boy's body? Whis says, I think the situation is even worse, Sir Beerus. This boy is actually the reincarnation of the eighth supreme god. It seems that this will put us in a very complicated situation. At that moment, Gohan releases Goku and starts putting his hands on his head. Planet Beerus starts to collapse whole. Beerus uses sealing magic on Gohan. Gohan starts to take a deep breath and says, 
this barrier won't stop me here for long. You know that very well, Sir Beerus. Meanwhile, I will reflect and think what my next act will be before ruling the entire universe. At that moment, Goku returns to his normal state and asks Whis, Mr. Whis, what's going on with Gohan? Whis responds, Well, for you to understand what is happening to your child's body, first we will have to talk about this appearance of him, which is the same appearance of the Supreme God. Whis on the planet Beerus began to tell everything that had happened. Whis says, This was all a millennia ago in the first heavenly war. Flashback to the first celestial war. At this time, great battles take place due to the conflict between the heavenly rulers. The great priest was still in training, just as Mary is in training to become an angel. The great priest fought a lot. He was always ahead of all the enemies that appeared there. There were eight beings who were extremely powerful and were considered to be the supreme gods. The supreme gods go far beyond the normal gods and also the gods of destruction. There was the being who was the creator of Zenosama and he was very strong. When the battle began in the celestial war, many believed that there would be no escape and several angels were killed in this war to protect the true creators of existence. But these eight gods, no matter how many angels fought together, none of those gods were defeated. The battles became more and more intriguing until the moment when the eighth supreme god appeared and laid waste to a gigantic horde of angels. The high priest was regarded as a prodigy and it was at this time that the high priest managed to perform the secret technique of planetary devastation and caused seven of the supreme gods to be sealed. In an unprecedented battle, the eighth supreme god became very furious and simply arrived and began to fight in a life and death struggle against the great priest. The great priest had been at a great disadvantage in the battle until the moment when he was about to be defeated. However, he had the help of another horde of angels that still remained. All these angels gave their power to the great priest. Daishin Khan said, Supreme God, I know that for you, I can just be an angel apprentice and you're used to defeating us all. You really wanted to consider yourself the destroyer of the universe since you couldn't dominate it. You wanted to defeat everything and everyone. This power was literally incredible power. At various times, I felt that you could be the victor in this celestial war. I know it's not the first time there's been a war and I know it won't end now. One day you will still want to come back, but until that day happens, you will be destroyed. At that moment, the great priest with the power of all the angels used the planetary devastation and destroyed the 8th supreme god. Until then, we believed that the 8th supreme god had been killed by the high priest. They usually say the supreme gods only reincarnate in the strongest. Back to the current moments. Whis says, We've been saying for a while that Lord Goku was the reincarnation of Yamoshi, the first Saiyan God. So it means that this boy has an even greater potential than Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta. That's why he managed to activate all that power. This is going to be incredible. So that means things are going to get pretty intense. Beerus says, We're going to need to be very careful. What is this boy going to do? Okay, let's resolve this situation. At that moment, a huge explosion happens on the planet Beerus. Gohan manages to break free from the ceiling. Gohan says, Looks like the ceiling technique is over. Gohan had already deactivated his beast mode 2 form. Gohan says, Guys, I don't know what's happening to me, but I will not fight you now. I think I have business with the great priest that is far beyond me. This comes from the past. Goku says, Gohan, won't you get out of here? At that moment, Piccolo speaks. Gohan, think about it. Let's resolve this situation and let's understand what's happening to you. Gohan teleports behind Piccolo and says, 
Thank you so much for all the training, Sir Piccolo. But now a force within me is saying I need to get started. Gohan uses teleportation again and leaves planet Beerus. Goku watches and says, When did Gohan learn the teleportation technique? Vegeta speaks, Damn Kakarot, he could only be Kakarot's son. That couldn't happen. We speaks, Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta, I believe the two of you will have to undergo training to stop Lord Goku's son. If he really does what I'm thinking, the future of the universe is in serious jeopardy. Beerus says, Maybe I have to destroy him. After all, my role is that of a god of destruction. Goku interrupts. Don't do that, Sir Beerus, please. We starts to laugh and says, Lord Beerus knows very well that if Gohan is embodied in the 8th Supreme God, not even Lord Beerus will be able to defeat him. What is Gohan doing now? Zenosama's Palace Gohan teleports directly to Zeno's palace. At that moment, Gohan arrives and sees the great priest at the entrance of the palace. The great priest says, I know you are the son of Sen Goku, but I feel an ancient energy coming from you. How can I help you here? Gohan smiles and says, Great priest, I don't know what's happening to me, but you must have answers. The only thing I know is that I need to end you. The great priest starts to smile and stares at Gohan. You see, I know that voice and I know that ancestral energy. What audacity, Eighth Supreme God! To be continued. What is going on? Gohan's personality has changed. Will Gohan be able to perform this transformation and still control this power? What is Gohan's true goal? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you come out here in your comment so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates from this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goku and Vegeta began to undergo arduous training on the planet Beerus to awaken their true latent powers. Due to the great catastrophes that were happening in the universe after the reincarnation of the Supreme God had showed himself to be Gohan and he had gone to meet directly with the High Priest. Since that moment, a major collapse has taken place and a barrier has been created inside Zeno-sama's palace and so far we don't know what happened. Goku, hearing the explosion that seemed to be light years away from the planet Beerus, wanted to solve the situation but knew that his powers were far inferior to that of the Supreme God. Whis makes a proposal to Goku and Vegeta. Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta, you want to get stronger and get Goku's son back, right? The only thing you need to do is get stronger and for that, you will have to overcome the powers of many celestial beings because this battle could be the decisive battle of your life. At that moment, Goku says, Sir Whis, I'm sure we Saiyans have no limits to our strengths. I'm going to get much stronger and I'll be able to bring Gohan back before Mr. Zeno decides to make some other kind of decision. Whis watches and speaks. Very well, good luck, because you will need it. Planet Beerus, Vegeta says, Mr. Whis, I want to get stronger. After all, I can't be left behind Kakarot, let alone your son. Whis smiles and says, Mr. Vegeta, pay close attention. You have the Ultra Ego. This power works in a totally different way than the Ultra Instinct. This time I have a suggestion for you to save time because with every second that passes, things start to get more and more intense within other universes. We don't know what Gohan embodied in the 8th God is doing, nor do we know if he has started a battle against the High Priest. If this boy is a reincarnation of the Supreme God, this entire power is his alone but the lack of control can cause catastrophic things to be created. The same way Broly showed his powers and he just didn't run away from his sanity, so he needed to know how to control his anger. I'm thinking about the best way for training you, Mr. Vegeta, the same way I'm thinking about Mr. Goku. 
but I don't think it makes any sense for me to train the two of you now. You two already possess the true techniques for martial arts. Beerus starts watching and says, Whis, maybe it's time to take them to that place. Whis starts to laugh and says, Are you sure, Sir Beerus? Goku and Vegeta don't understand what Beerus was trying to say. At that moment, Beerus speaks, Surely, you must know the room of time in the temple of Kami-sama. After all, you trained there for years and managed to become much stronger. That there can be considered as another dimension. There is also the empty dimension where Frieza was able to achieve his black form. This form of Frieza had truly surpassed the power of the two of you. But now things got more intense. There are some powers that can only be mastered for both Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct when training in the God Dimension is carried out. Goku doesn't understand and speaks. Dimension of the Gods? I didn't even know it existed. We starts laughing and says, But there is. You have to understand that within all universes there are different training dimensions. Time passes very slowly without aging the one who is there. On Earth, you own Kami-sama's time room. In Galaxy Number 7, there is the empty dimension that was where Frieza trained. But here on the planet Beerus, there is the Room of the Gods. In the Room of the Gods, time passes slowly, just like in the Room of Time. But to be able to survive in it, the user's divine key needs to be extremely high because otherwise their energy ends up being drained more and more so the user ends up going to death. You don't have much choice. Either you resolve this situation in this training or you will simply die. What will your decision be? Goku watches and speaks. Mr. Whis, I will train in the dimension of the gods. Moments after, Vegeta speaks. If Kakarot is going to enter this training, so will I. I'm already very angry with his son. I didn't even get a chance to fight him. We smiles and takes Goku and Vegeta to train in the God Dimension. This very dimension climate, combined with the energy of the destitute Ultra Ego, it felt like an energy never seen before. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta start training. Goku says, Vegeta, seems like the time here is totally different and I feel very strange energies. It feels like an energy of Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego that dwell in one place. A great light appears in the body of Goku and Vegeta and they end up being separated. At that moment, a distorted version of Goku and Vegeta appears in front of the original. Goku says, But what is it that is happening? I'm not understanding anything. Out of the room of the gods, we starts watching and says, Will they get Mr. Beerus? Beerus watches and speaks. This is very complicated to say. After all, it's a technique that even I have a hard time using. We says, In fact, the angels cannot possess this ability. After all, we only possess the mastery of self-movement. But the mastery of self-movement when it is combined in just one being alone with the Ultra Ego brings about the birth of the strongest warrior. It is said that the being who manages to achieve this power will be able to defeat any enemy. Well, let's see what they will do. Vegeta fights the distorted Goku who uses his mastery of Ultra Instinct. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and with great speed begins to attack. Great battles began to take place. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and says, You can only be kidding. This Kakarot appearing in front of me seems to have even more powers than the original. Is this really the training place that takes place in the room of the gods? What are they planning here? Goku starts fighting the distorted Vegeta who had appeared using Ultra Ego. Goku says, What is Mr. Beerus trying to do? I cannot understand. Why is he making us fight other versions of ourselves? What's the point of it? At that moment, Goku begins to reason in the battle and says, Maybe it is that. Vegeta, 
I think I already know what they want. Maybe if we learned our techniques that we got from the gods, we would achieve a new power. At that moment, Goku starts trying to develop the energy of destruction that was Ultra Ego energy. After Goku tried to activate the Ultra Ego, his body felt a huge collapse and Goku fell to the ground in immense pain. Vegeta says, You should already know, Kakarot, that there is a great conflict between the energy of destruction and the pure mastery of Ultra Instinct. These two powers do not combine. If we try to do that, our bodies will explode. Days and days go by and every time Goku tries to activate his Ultra Instinct combined with his Ultra Ego body, he starts to feel a lot of pain. When Goku tries to combine Ultra Ego, the wear is even greater. More days pass and Goku smiles and says, This time I will make it. A big explosion happens. Goku starts fighting the fake Vegeta with Ultra Ego. Goku burns his energy to the max. Outside the Hall of the Gods. Beerus and Whis sense a big difference what was happening there. Whis says, What could have happened? Moments after, a great tremor in the room of the gods occurs. Beerus says, This can only be a joke. You ended up destroying the room of the gods. To rebuild such a room will take me months. At that moment, Vegeta with his totally exhausted body was feeling fascinated. Soon after, Goku started to smile and says, I think we got it Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis. Whis is surprised and says, How so? What happened? Did you manage to master this technique? Vegeta starts laughing and talks. It looked like we were going to die until the moment I saw that Kakarot pushed his energy to the max to manage to combine the mastery of Ultra Instinct alongside his Ultra Ego and his skin was different. Scratchers appeared on his body and his hair started to get spiky. That transformation was incredible. Apart from that, cracks in time began to be created. Shortly after Kakarot had this transformation, he fell down and became unconscious. It took me days to raise that same power. I knew I could get stronger because I'd seen him show this transformation. Right after I achieved this new form and after my power was taken more and more, how did I not know how to destroy and how to return? From that room of time, I just had to create a time rift and destroy it. I'm sorry, but now I think we're ready. Whis is fascinated. Beerus says, Vegeta, you pay me, so you're the one who destroyed the room of time. At that moment, a great light year tremor appears. Everyone is scared. The Palace of Zeno Summer. Zeno wakes up from his dream and says, Great priest, who is this guy? Zeno Sama begins to face Gohan embodied in the Supreme God. Back to planet Beerus. Beerus gets serious and says, Looks like it's about to start. Glad you managed to get stronger. To be continued. So, what will happen in the face of all of this? What battle awaits us? Has Goku achieved his new Time God transformation? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you tell me here in the comments what you think of all of this and let's get into a crazy debate. Click on the like button and subscribe to the channel and also turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>